Hey everybody and welcome to our new Let's Play. It will be uh, Digimon World 2 as you can see. Back on the horse, it is I, Gabriel Wing, and I am joined by... Matt Koji here. And we are going to play Digimon World 2. Hey guy, let me through. Hey guy, <laughs> I'm mastering my joystick guy. <laughs> it's already started. Oh dear. It's the Blue Falcon security guard. He's like Captain Falcon, only not as cool. Blue Falcon punch! Well, Captain Falcon's vehicle was called Blue Falcon. It was indeed. Uh, hello, Mr. Good Zunicorn. Nice to see you. Let me see. You're a cadet tamer. Your name is... Uh, the character's default name is Akira, and if this were any other name, I would probably switch that to Gabe or Koji, since you're here. Mm. But I really don't feel like being associated with an idiot, so Koji it is! Hey! I'm just fucking with ya. <laughs> Akira can be Akira, just so we don't have to be affiliated with him. Mm. Yes, you're Akira, aren't you? Please go right ahead. The Blue Falcon Leader is waiting for you. Oh. Well, I don't wanna meet up with the Blue Falcon Leader. Akira, your training is almost over. You'll be a real tamer when you finish your last training mission. I'm gonna be a real boy. Father, I want to be a real boy. <laughs> you can join the guard team. Okay, Mr. Zidicord, I'll do my best. And I just noticed something. What? As any Digimon protagonist, massive goggles. Yeah, he's a gogglehead. Yep. I, ha I had forgotten about that until just now. The goggles, they do nothing. So the game won't really give you a lot of plot information right now. We're essentially established that we are inside of a computer right now. It's a digital city inside of a computer. In fact, the city is called Digital City. Um, I wanted to point that out just for the simple fact that I can now say, she must be a lie. There are no girls on the internet. <laughs> this is Cecilia. She's the Blue Falcon Leader. Um, I'm Falcon Leader, Falcon Leader, do you, do you read me? Good shot, Red 2. I'm glad you made it this far. We've done this training mission. You can join a guard team as a tamer, and then you can work as a defender of Digital City, just as you've always dreamed. Personally, I'd prefer to dream of the city not, not being attacked, attacked in the first place. Yeah. Um, yes, Blue Falcon Leader, I will do my best. I will defend Digital City with my fellow Digimon. Hey, Akira, don't get too worked up. Zidicorn and Akira, this is your mission. Go to Boot Domain and destroy Leomon hiding there. This is a training mission. Don't help me too much. Blah, blah, blah. Go to Boot Domain destroy the wild Digimon. So we are supposed to protect the city with Digimon while destroying other Digimon. We're like animal control. Except deadlier. Except deadlier. <laughs> sort of. Hey Carol, how's it going? Is my Digibeetle ready to go? I want to take it for a spin. Of course your Digibeetle is standing by. Don't you finish with your game training yet? Not yet, Chief. This is my last training mission. So apparently Carol has known you this whole time, even though this is the first time we've actually met her. This game is very good at giving you characters that you're supposed to care about without giving you any reason to care about them. Mm. After this mission, I'll get my own Digibeetle, so I'm going to do my best. Don't push my Digibeetle too hard and break it, okay? Blah, 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 Digi... Get to what the Digibeetle is. I'm sorry, but this... this I have to stop on this text box for one reason. Running over a landmine or two won't do much damage to my Digibeetle. I'm sorry, but if I'm Akira's age, because he's like 14 or 15 or 16 or something like that, mm. hearing that one sentence ter would terrify me. Entirely. Anyway, a Digibeetle's not like an ordinary car. It's more like a tank. It's a multi-use tank with all the items and equipment a tamer needs. It's actually a living tank. It has a Digi-soul in it. Wait, it has all the items and equipment a tamer needs. Does it have built-in bathroom? I would assume it has a bathroom, but it actually doesn't have all the items that a tamer needs because you later have to buy items. Mm, yeah. False advertising. It was full of dangerous and wild Digimon inside of the city. Why the concept is that you can carry everything you need? But that's not what he said. <laughs> I know. Digibeetle! So this is a Digibeetle. They're essentially, like I said, they're like living tanks. They have a Digi- Say hi to the people, Digibeetle! <laughs> they have living- they're, they have like a Digi soul in them, so like a Digimon soul. We have arrived. This is the boot domain. Stay alert. I will have been training hard for this day. I'm ready. Since it'll never really recount his training, we will recount his training for you. 
You can move any direction, essentially, with the Digibeetle, left, right, even your diagonals. You'll notice that as I move, a uh, bar up in the top right corner labeled EP goes down. That is your Digibeetle's battery power. If it hits zero, bad shit happens. Uh, top left will explain where you are, boot domain, and how many floors there are in it. Boot domain has two floors. Trust me, they get bigger much quickly. I do English, good luck. Yes. Thank God neither of us are English majors. In the, uh, you'll notice a little mini-map. I can darken it with the start button, too, if I really need to see it over the light floors. But, uh, you can also make it big or disappear. Your mini-map is kind of important. Don't ever disable it. Uh, you also have an HP bar up in the top right. It is completely useless now, so we'll explain what it's for later. You enter into a room, you have a Digi Scanner, which you activate with the square button, which lets you see other Digimon in the room, so we see that this is a team of Gazi and Gizamon. And, uh, let's just try to get past them. Yeah, that's a work. Yeah. And now, just to make a point, he said he's been training for a while for this, for this day, so he's been training to use someone else's Digimon to do something. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. So here's your team to start out. This is Zudicorn Digimon, and awesomely enough, you actually get to fight this team later. Um, Mega Seedramon, Lilymon, and Triceramon. Thanks for stealing my thunder. You're welcome. Uh, battling works pretty simple. It is an RPG. If you notice, you have an HP and an MP bar. Every attack uses MP, so you have to manage which attacks you're using particularly well in the actual game. In this training mission, you are so overpowered for what you're fighting, it is ridiculous. If you'll notice, level 23, 22, and 21, when we were showing you uh, the uh, team composition of the enemies, they were level 5. Yeah. Little overblown. Ironically enough, Triceramon is actually broken and incorrect within the terms of the, o of the game itself, but we won't get into that yet. We will explain that when it becomes relevant as well. Teasers! Cliffhangers! Spiral Edge, go! Ow! And by ow, I mean hit harder, you pussy! <laughs> oh, dear. This mission, like I said, is pretty easy. Go, Flower Power! Use your best attacks, things die. Pretty much, yeah. It's a training mission. Try hard attack. Again, the game really doesn't give you like a really ample tutorial. It kind of gives you a basic tutorial to dungeon crawling, and that's really about it. So there's your first fight. You will probably not see too, too many of these later, because most of them are kind of grindy and annoying. But the first couple are actually relevant, so you get to see them. Look, Akira, that's a floor portal. You can jump to another floor when you step into it, but you can't get back to the floor you came from. This time we won't have to come back to this floor, but normally you have to be careful. You never have to be careful. As for the, the, this being a tutorial for dungeon crawling, basically I like to compare it to someone gives you a sword and a shield and tells you you walk by putting one leg in front of the other. You know everything you need to know for dungeon crawling. Actually, they don't even tell you how to move the Digi Beetle, so they don't even tell you how to put one foot in front of the other. Good. Yeah, you're right. Here's a sealed and sword. You now know everything you need to know in dungeon crawl. Wait. Mr. Zidicorn, the floor there is different to her. Really? I never would have guessed. Very observant of you. I'm sorry, that's not observant. I would have just said no shit, Sherlock. That's a specialty floor. It's blue because that floor is a water specialty. When you battle on a water specialty floor, damage from water techniques increase. Also, the defensive ability of Digimon with a water specialty increases. Are there floors with other specialties? Fire is red, nature is green, machine is gold, and darkness is black. Five specialties in all. Know the specialties of Digimon and their techniques, and you can take advantage of them. If I recall, they don't actually tell you what the uh, techniques are. You just have to ballpark it, don't you? <laughs> they don't, actually. Um... Water specialty on the Digimon is easy, you can check that in your status menu, but the actual specialty of the attacks, an attack from a water specialty Digimon is water specialty, etc. for every other type, but it doesn't actually specifically tell you that, so if you were transferring skills from one character to another, which again we'll get into in much greater detail later, then yes, you can completely forget what they are. Yes, we're about to meet the boss Digimon. 
What? How do you know that? Call it a tamer's hunch. I'm sorry, but if he's been on a bunch of training missions, he hasn't noticed that right before every boss room, the floor changes. For the record, that's what the hunch is. Now, we're going to stop right here because that's a boss room, and I'm going to point something out to you right now. It says that if you watch the specialties, you can use it to your advantage. You will never use it to your advantage. The game is intentionally weighted so that every single boss fights you on their specialty. Yeah. And also, any enemy who are just randomly spawned on a specialty will tend to not leave that specialty. Yeah, they will stay on their own specialty. As long as they have a specialty. Yeah. You think you defeat the boss of the boot domain, the great Leomon? Defeat the wild Digimon, your training mission will be complete. Ah, uh, wild well, Digimon. Sure. <laughs> Let's not ruin it for the kids. Now normally there is a strategy here, normally regular strategy would tell you to kill Leomon first, so we will. Kill Leomon first, because he has counter, which is crap. His counter's okay. I deal you damage, you dealt me. Which is great if you're fighting really strong opponents, but... Useless all the other times? Yeah. Char. <laughs> hey look, he's gonna smack you back. Yeah, no, this should hit for 58, but I don't think it actually will. Oh god! Vaccine versus data. <laughs> <laughs> um... Ow! The game works on a rock, paper, scissors principle. Um... Data types beat vaccine types, vaccine types beat virus types, virus types beat data types. So, that attack should have done the exact same damage to me as I did to him, but he's a vaccine type attacking... Wait, he was attacking a data type? How did he get for 80 seconds? I don't know. That's like fighting into, like, resistance. I don't know. Well, in fact, this entire party... King Fist on fire, I guess? It's not a fire elemental attack, though. At least I didn't think it was. What elemental Digimon is Leomon? Neutral. <laughs> then... I... You've got nothing. <laughs> yeah. Plot contrivance! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that hurt. Artificial... Artificially length... Artificially challenging the game. Be Nova Blast! Whoa. Me missing makes this take longer, and that makes me sad. Attack missed! Urgh! Bop missing! You just want to get this over with, we're already at 13 minutes. Well, thankfully, YouTube doesn't kill us anymore. Thanks, or... YouTube! We love you! I mean, geez, I'm seeing people uploading 30 minute videos now. Which I still think is kind of too long. My goal for this LP will be to keep every video under 15, 20. 30 minutes is just too long to watch the same thing over and over again. And by over and over again, I mean just in one, like, huge chunk. Dead! Damage 83! You die. We win. Yes, because our victory was always in doubt. Although, admittedly, I kind of like the mechanic that the money that you win in the first dungeon is your starting money. That's pretty clever. Mm. That's an exit portal. Leave Getting into one of those exits the dungeon. There are actually moments in this game where you don't want to go on them immediately. Ugh. In this case, though, no such luck. We hop on the portal, return back to Happy Go Happy Land. Well done, Akira, you passed your last training mission. All you have to do is join a guard team and become a real tamer. Thank you, Mr. Zitacorn. Akira, you're really good, but in order to defeat the wild Digimon, you must train much harder. Next, you have to choose the guard team that you like. By law, a tamer must belong to one of three guard teams to be an active tamer. Well, we're establishing laws in this society. I suppose that's a step in the right direction. Oh yeah, I have to get you a Digi Beetle, then I'll give you a tamer license to prove that you've become a real tamer. Real boy now. Soon, Akira. Soon. I actually exist. Hey, Akira, can you get a Digi Beetle for Akira? He's finally completed training and will become a tamer now. That's great, Akira. Congratulations. Thank you, Chief Carol. 
Let me get your own Digi Beetle. First, let me check your taste in the Tamer License number, then I'll prepare your Digi Beetle. Digi Beetle comes with a steel body. It's designed for beginners. Now join a guard team and get a Digi Beetle browser. Then you can go out on missions. For the record, they keep giving you names of key items that you will never actually see or use. Like, you will use them, but you will never really be conscious that you're ever using them. Got a Tamer License and a Digi Beetle. Finally, I have your own Digi Beetle. Give it a name. Yell sub. No, it doesn't actually become yellow, which makes me sad. Although I am fond of calling it Yellow Submarine. Mm. Um, I kind of just want to leave it as Gunner. Nah, we all live in a Yellow Submarine. Yellow Submarine. Yellow Submarine. That's a nice name. <laughs> I like that. Dot dot dot. That's a nice name. What the fuck are you smoking, kid? <laughs> You're on your own now. Make sure you join a guard team that suits you. Good luck! Alright, we need to be sure to join the guard team that suits us. So which one of them is the stupidest? <laughs> <laughs> There's Goldhawk, which is best. Hey. We are not going to tell them anything. There's Gold Hawk, there's Blue Falcon, and there's Black Sword. But instead of us telling them, why don't we actually have the people who tell you what they're about tell them what they're about? Fine. Hey, Garrett, what's up? Um, there's Agumon. He's the Gold Hawk mascot. You'll notice that each um, faction has a mascot, and I'll give you two bucks. Actually, I won't give you any money. I will give you five theoretical dollars if you can guess what your mascot, what the mascots of each faction actually are. Like, what they are comparatively to the game. Anyway, we're actually going to let you guys choose what our guard faction is for this playthrough, so we're going to let you go through the details of each of them, and you're going to be Cecilia. You can also be Skull if you want, but you're going to be Cecilia. And I expect you to do a girly voice. Fine, but I do Skull. Okay. <laughs> I'll be Vandar then. This is Vandar, he's the Gold Hawk leader. My name is Vandar, the guard team leader of the Gold Hawks. We fight for honor and justice, that's what this guard team is all about. We make items to help all vaccine type Digimon. Feel free to look around, if you think this guard team is for you, come and see me. So that's Gold Hawk. They're the vaccine peoples. Their logo is... Pretty nifty. I like that it's like a poppy inside a bunch of gold wings. It's kind of cool. Makes the guard in front of it look like Andromon. <laughs> There's Blue Falcon, which we saw earlier. Its mascot is Patamon. Again, five theoretical dollars if you can guess what the, what the mascots actually are in relevancy to the story. I'll tell you what he is. He's pudgy. <laughs> this is Cecilia. She is the leader of the Blue Falcons. Uh, yeah. I'm Cecilia. I think, yeah. I can't that is the worst female I voice can't ever! Do, I can't do a female voice. I'm Cecilia, the guard team leader of the Blue Falcons. Ugh, God, please, no. Our guard team fights for freedom and harmony. We develop items to support the cause of all data type Digimon. Feel free to look around if you think this guard team is for you. Come and see me. Yeah, I've always found Seal to be more along like tomboy type, so... Yeah, she really is, but I like to make jokes about it, the fact that she's the only woman. Eh. I'm assuming that your voice for Skull will be gravelly and annoying. Hell yeah! <laughs> uh, this is Black Sword. It's the only one that has nothing to do with a bird. This is one thing I never understood. Why does it have nothing to do with a bird? Blue Falcon, Gold Hawk, Black Sword. Why not, like, Black Raptor or something cool like that? Anyway, there's Debbie Devimon. Five Red Hawk! <laughs> five theoretical dollars if you can tell me what Debbie Devimon slash the mascots are in relation to the story. Right. This is Skull, Black Sword Leader. Take it away. Alright. I am Black Sword Guard Team Leaders. Skull. We fight for power and authority. That's what this guard team is all about. We develop items to support the cause of all virus type Digimon. Our team is tough. If you want, if you want to train hard and better yourself, choose Black Swords. Yeah, yeah, it's Black Swords. 
I love how you did like the gravelly voice. We got everybody's voice wrong. Vandar is supposed to be the oldest of the three, so I think his is the closest to accurate. Cecilia is supposed to be a tomboy, but I intentionally made her sound girly. And Skull is supposed to be the youngest. <laughs> anyway, it's so Black Sword, Blue Falcon, and Gold Hawk. We are going to end this part of the LP right now. Uh, vote in the comment section below for which faction that you want us to uh, be a part of. And in a few days, we will contabulate the votes, and we will continue with the LP from there. Peace. Peace.